Hi everyone, welcome back. It's delighted to be here with Karali and we're just going to talk about your experience um, working with AWS and the, the founding of your project Minow, which is an amazing one. So tell us all about what that involves and the support you've had to, to really advance that forward. Sure, so maybe because uh, before I get into the AWS yeah. program, I will tell you a bit about my startup. Yes, go for it, yeah, absolutely. What I'm doing. Absolutely. Um, so I don't know if you've ever been on Amazon or yes. whatever your favorite website to buy a cream, <laughs> but it's very, very hard to know which product is going to fit totally. your skin. A lot of people suffer from, you know, uh, side effects or have Absolutely. some background skin condition, acne, atopic dermatitis, rosacea. Absolutely. Rosacea, myself. Yeah, rosacea. Yeah, absolutely. And Absolutely. when you use the wrong cream, then you can get flare up exactly. and it doesn't go away. Yeah, indeed. So uh, our idea is to uh, make some system mm -hmm. that is uh, just, you know, asking you questions, modular, very easy, very interactive, and taking into account all of your background, where you live, uh, if you suffer from rosacea, like in your yes. case, yep. if you're smoking, not smoking, mm -hmm. all this kind of information, and then tell you which product you should buy. Wonderful. So really, truly personalized healthcare and skincare, basically. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Okay, fantastic. So that's amazing. So how have you got to this point? You know, what's the role in AI and everything that you're doing? Because again, I think this is going to inspire a lot of you know, future founders in this space as well. Yeah, so in AI, we're like using very deep AI. We have, sure. uh, first, we're taking all of the ingredients into the product. We're looking at all of the molecules that there is inside because, you know, one plant extract, extract can have, you know, hundreds of molecules inside. Absolutely. And based on their structure, we can predict what will be the effect of the skin. So we can say, okay, it's going to have a vasodilating effect, so it makes you at risk of what I say. Yes, indeed. And uh, actually, it's one of the things that we worked a lot in the AWS program that you were mentioning earlier. So this is a program that is aimed to uh, women founders. It's a two-month program, very intense. Mm -hmm. uh, it's both on the technical side and the business side. So on the technical side, we were in very close relation with uh, system architect from AWS. Brilliant. And this really helped us design our system for scalability because when we started and, you know, we, we did a lot of things on our end. We like put data into Google Docs, yes. which is not the way yeah, people absolutely. want their like personal <laughs> data to be stored. But we've all been there, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, to work with AWS and in addition to the credit yes. that they gave us, that it really helped us to think of uh, how to scale our system exactly. up yeah. and how to ensure data security from day one, which is yes. something very important when you're Absolutely. a young startup, Absolutely. to start already good. Uh, and one of the other things that we had is that we got support from business. We got mm -hmm. into contact with a lot of uh, female partners yes. in major VC. VC, so those are like investment funds. Yes. Yes. Um, and also we made like an incredible community of women. You know, uh, when you're a founder, you feel pretty lonely. Yes, And especially indeed, as indeed. a female founder, like yeah. less than one percent of companies in Israel are funded by women. Mm -hmm. Even so many women go into AI and computer science over there. And uh, we already had this sense of community. We're like still helping each other mm -hmm. even after the program ended. I and I think it's, it's wonderful. I love that. That word community, I think, could not be more, you know, emphasised more. It just hugely makes a difference. That safe space to kind of share how you're feeling, what the challenges are, if you're feeling isolated. Having yeah. that support is huge and kind of going beyond, say, mentorship to sponsorship, that really active involvement. I love that. And you mentioned there that 1% statistic, and we see that in lots of different countries to, to yeah. different extents. What do you see as the biggest challenges? And have you got any advice to anyone listening about how to kind of overcome them? It's a big question. I know it's a big question, but again, it's just kind of like breaking down those barriers. So for me, visibility of role models like yourself, I think is a hugely significant yeah. one. You can put yourself in those shoes. Yeah, I think, you know, even for me, uh, when I start in Israel, which yeah. is, you know, the country where everyone is making yes. startups, and people ask me, you know, ah, oh, are you thinking of making a startup one day? Mm -hmm. I say, no. <laughs> and I think the reason why is that because as women, you know, we, we tend to be much more responsible yes. and, yeah. and, you know, take less risk and maybe have less confidence. Mm -hmm. And it's something I discovered when I went to a uh, a woman support group, for example, mm -hmm. I noticed that I was studying all my emails by saying, you know, I'm sorry for answering you late, even if yes. it was only two days. That's very true. We spend also much more time writing emails, so I did a lot of work on myself to change this, and I think it's one of the reasons where, as women, we mm -hmm. always feel like we are not qualified enough to start a startup. Yes. And the truth is, no one is qualified to start a startup. I mean, when you think about it, you know, you're making something, you're two people and you're trying to make some things that even big companies don't do. Absolutely. So Absolutely. You, you have to dare and you have to get out there. I mean, 
I did it because I met my wonderful uh, partner and co-founder, and we really, I really felt like with her I can do it. Amazing. Uh, but, I, but I think that my big me message here for all of the mm -hmm. women that are listening is that you can do it. I love it. And, and you need to take the risk because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I know that 80% of the startups are failing, so the odds are not for us, but when I see everything that I learned so far, even if I fail at this stage, we still have been worth it. Absolutely, you can put it into the next one. Anyway, if that did yes. happen again, you take forward that learning. It's not a failure, it's a stepping stone to try something I else. I fully agree. I totally agree with that. And, and what you said there about startups as well, um, and about that, that willingness to, to try, I think we see the same things in other types of roles as well. I, I read something recently about women going for promotion. Um, and it was like you have to cross off every single thing on the list to think that you qualify. Yes. Whereas a male counterpart would say, oh, I've got kind of 50 to 60%, I'll go for it. So in so many different ways, whether it's startup or you know, um, in other forms of employment, breaking down those barriers and sometimes their perceived ones is just hugely important. So honestly, what an inspiring message. So thank you so much. And what's your kind of main ambition for today? So obviously we're here breaking down barriers, the Women in AI event today. Yeah. What, what would your one thing you want to take from this event be? Um, well, I see if I can inspire even one person Fantastic. to go after me and mm -hmm. make their own startup and make a difference, that would be great because, you know, yeah. this person could inspire exactly. another one and I think that today we can make a difference. And I mean, you know, I spent a lot of time lately talking with investors and so on and, and I can see, you know, the ways that sometimes we are being Talk mm -hmm. to and we're being called, you know, young girls. And I mean, it's yes. nice, but I'm not a young girl. I'm an experiment, <laughs> an experienced woman. Absolutely. And I feel like we need more people to, to start, <laughs> like, to be considered differently. Absolutely, I love that. Exactly. If one person can make that change, it's all worth it, isn't it? Absolutely. It forms yeah. a. I'm going to use a phrase. So, in the pandemic, that word contagion has been used in a very negative way. Let's reframe that. Make a contagion of positive change. That this collaboration, this inspiration, that ripple effect to go and do it and, and have a go. So that's our message today. So. Thank Thank you so much for joining me. Honestly, Thanks it's been delight and congratulations on all your success. It's really Thanks empowering. Thanks a lot. Thank you, pleasure. And thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.